I were to tell you guys that I have a kayak right here in my backpack in my studio, would you believe me? Well, you kind of should because I literally have a kayak here in my backpack in my studio. It's an origami folding kayak from Oru Kayak called the Inlet. You might have seen me posting about this thing over on my Twitter and Instagram lately, and that's because I've been obsessed with it. Kayaking is always something I very much enjoyed doing, but I never actually had my own to get out on the water more often. That is, until now. The Inlet is Oru's cheapest kayak in their lineup, but it's arguably their most versatile given how portable and lightweight it is. This kayak weighs in at just 20 pounds. It's an impressive feat of engineering how something like this folds, unfolds, and feels solid all while remaining so lightweight. The Inlet is a 10-footer, so it's not as large as a traditional kayak, but it holds up to 275 pounds, is plenty spacious on the inside, and is built of incredibly durable material that can withstand sliding on rocks, bumping into things, and all that fun stuff you have to worry about when you're out on the water. So for those worrying about durability, definitely don't. This thing is rugged. I'm a total geek for stuff like this, and it's unbelievable to me that you can literally go from a box to a boat. When it's folded up, it fits into most car trunks, so if you just want a kayak that you can grab, go, and get out on the water with no fuss or hassle, the inlet will more than satisfy your needs. Folding and unfolding the inlet takes all of about five minutes, give or take. It definitely takes longer the first few times that you do it, but once you master the technique and know what to do, you can literally do it in as little as three minutes or so. It's really not difficult at all once you get the hang of the process. In fact, it's fairly straightforward and folding it back up is literally the same process, only in reverse. I've been out on Lake George for probably about 20 minutes or so now. I think this inlet, it's holding up great. I mean, the water is surprisingly choppy. I'm not sure why today. Maybe a lot of boats out or something like that, but this thing is really holding up. I dig it so far. I recently took the inlet on a trip to Lake George in upstate New York for its maiden voyage, and I had a blast with it. I wasn't sure what to expect in open water like that since I only tested it in my pool prior, but the inlet held up like a champ. The water was surprisingly choppy due to the winds and boat activity, and even still, the experience was great. I know many people will be concerned about the build quality and stability here given the origami folding nature of the kayak, and trust me, I was too when I first saw it. I was prepared for the unexpected on this maiden voyage, but at the end of the trip, I walked away a believer in Oru kayaks. I was actually moving around quite a bit to adjust the angles of my GoPro, and unless I leaned too far to the left or too far to the right, there was never a point where I felt like I was going to flip over. I even lugged around a bunch of our stuff in the back behind me, so there's a good amount of storage space in the kayak to fit some gear for day trips out on the water. Just make sure you stay within the weight limit. Overall, I think the Inlet is a very solid boat that's nimble and pretty quick out on the water. Since it's so lightweight, you can pick up a good amount of speed, turn on a dime, and just float to relax and get taken away by the wind. Just be sure to pay attention if you're doing that. I've been paddling around with Oru's carbon fiber paddles, which are extremely lightweight. They're only about two pounds. And if you're planning to be out on the water for long periods of time, having a light set of paddles does make a huge difference in how strenuous things can become the longer that you're out there. So if you're getting a lightweight kayak like the Inlet, I would highly recommend picking up a pair of carbon fiber paddles because it keeps the overall package very lightweight and you can even stay out on the water for longer periods of time. So what are the negatives and the downsides of owning a kayak that literally fits on your back? So far, there aren't any major complaints that I have with this thing aside from some minor nitpicking, of course, and even those things are very easily manageable. First, the seat isn't very padded and if you're planning to be out on the water for long periods of time, you might want to consider getting a padded seat wedge so your butt doesn't end up sore. I've already had that happen a few times. The next slight downside is the durability. Even though this kayak is highly rugged, you do need to be more careful with it given its folding nature. Pro tip, put it in the water first and then get in the kayak. Don't get in on the shore and scoot yourself out into
into the water. That's a good way to damage not just this kayak, but any kayak in general. The last downside isn't really a downside, it's more so an FYI. The inlet is machine rated at 20,000 folds. This means that you can only fold this thing 20,000 times before you won't be able to anymore. Most people will never even come close to that number in their lifetime, especially if they're casual seasonal kayakers, but do keep that in the back of your mind that this extraordinary portability does come at a price with a folding limit. As with anything, just be careful, take care of your stuff, enjoy it, and it's gonna last. So, would I recommend the Oru Inlet? Yes, without a question, 110% yes. If you want to get out on the water and don't have the storage or means to transport a traditional kayak like me, the Inlet is a fantastic boat that delivers. It's a solid, well-built, well-designed, all-around kayak that excels at what it's meant to do. If you're a pro, experienced kayaker, you might want to check out Oru's other models, but for casual, recreational use, the Inlet is going to open up a whole new world of possibilities. Due to its portability and seriously lightweight frame, you can also bring this kayak to places you wouldn't easily be able to bring a regular kayak to, which means many, many more remote areas to explore. This origami boat lives up to the hype, and I'm always looking for cool new places to take it nowadays. So if you guys know of any cool like lakes or rivers or anything like that, let me know in the comments box down below. I'm pretty sure you guys know of some really cool places. Anywho, that's about it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did and you liked what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. Also, don't forget to follow at Racetrasis on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for much more. Until the next one, I'll catch you guys later. Peace!